Okay, so this game's called Surrealidade. And it's an obscure, totally independent Brazilian game created in 1999 by a small team of surrealism-obsessed people. Over the years, it has become a cult among its admirers. The version you are going to play now is the definitive edition, with a series of improvements and extra material for you to better enjoy everything Surrealidade has to offer. But the story, graphics, music, and gameplay remain intact, uh, exactly the same as it was in 1999. So, anyway, here we go, chat. Surrealidade. It may look a little strange, but it's probably fine. Um, come to Brazil. Come to Brazil. It worked. Okay, so this looks like an upscale with some interpolation to get the frames a little smoother. Was that about to say? Oh, there it is. There it is. Title drop. Es expresso yos do inconsciente. Hell yeah. I mean, not bad for 1999, I think. Even though, you know, the world was already at Jar Jar Binks and Watto. But, you know, we have this now. Uh, okay, so it looks like you point with your finger. Fuck. What the fuck? Chat, I don't know if this is a good idea anymore. It's probably a great idea. I mean, again, it's being sold on Steam. There's something about weird games from like, I don't know, a quarter century ago that feel different than ones made like last week. And also, these had a lot more to lose because a lot of these games were actually, like, allocated a budget and were not just, like, uploaded to some itch or, like, uh, a gaming, you know, repository for indie games. Like, this was actually sold on, like, CD-ROM. So that just makes it feel a little bit more authentic, in my mind, at least. But, uh, there is a brain scuttle bug. There's a big Welcome to Youth Mind, my dear. Uh, who are you? And the Oracle Guardian of the Psychic Automatism. I will answer all the questions necessary for you to successfully reach your destination, helping you on your journey towards super reality. I will answer any question, and if you can convince me to open the door to my to the unconscious, I will help you along the way towards your destiny. What's behind the door? The unconscious. 
what is unconscious, the darkest part of the human mind. It is where all the obscure thoughts denied by the human being and by the society, by the character and by the good customs and mainly by the reason and the moral are in prison. Isn't that immoral? This game is made by Neil Breen. Why is the unconscious stuck? Because the society, the culture, and the rationality of the man made the conscious to defend itself by putting psychic barriers so the world would not know the secrets of the unconscious. The world of unconscious usually comes to the surface through our dreams. There are kinds of messages, usually in metaphorical form, asking to be deciphered. What is my goal? My dear, you, like the surrealist artists, you will seek the harmony of your mind. <laughs> Uniting the conscious and unconscious, harmonizing it with the macrocosm? For that, you must reach the supra-reality through a very well-locked door. To open it, you must let your irrationality flow. Palpatine? Thank you. I like some... Techno music while this is going down? I hear like... Biblioteca. Now the truth will agonize wise words. Oh my god. The fuck? I hope it didn't expect me to, like, memorize all of that. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is... Well, it's nice that it's censored. But I think we could imagine what was there originally. I mean, it was art. It, it's just art. It's like the Statue of David, but, you know, weirder. <laughs> okay, I picked up a book and got a Star Trek. Is that a toilet? Uh. This one is very, very strange. But it looks like it is, um... Dedicated to the art of surrealism. And it's just explaining what that spider talked about, but in more detail. The Surrealist's target is the extra literary. Extra literary? Literary. I aiming to free man from the coercions of a too utilitarian immediate. immediate. immediatist society? Boy, I skipped a lot in school. Huh. According to Freudian thought, humor is like a metamorphosis of the spirit of insubmission, a refusal to subordinate oneself to societal prejudices. It is the mask of despair. 
Often when a person enters a state of despair, he creates a kind of escape valve. He thinks of something cheerful. In short, surrealism is based on supra-reality, that is, this realization of the integral man. For this, the man will use humor, which will open like a door. The psychic automatism that will provide means art, which will be his language through psychoanalysis, that will manage to give a deeper meaning, and, will, and the revolution of his environment, which will be the effective realization of the imaginary world. Is that a toilet? Is that a urinal? Oh, it's a urinal. Sick. Well, now you know all these things, chat. You, you, it's going to be on the test. <laughs> Wait, can I insert a cassette tape? I like that sound. There's a guitar pedal that does that. Probably several. All right. Yeah, there's just a bunch of music you can choose. <laughs> I am intrigued by this game. I don't think I'll ever be able to finish it if there is such a thing as an ending in a game like this. Is that a nipple butt man? Art is interesting. Oh my god, that voice. This kind of gives me Yodorowsky vibes. It's a little liminal. I think we found the original back rooms. Oh, Dolly. This is so fucking weird. I am the Andalusian and and dog. I don't like that nickname at all. All because of that damn movie by Brunel and Dolly. Probably saying that wrong. História. Você acha que esse filme se resume em uma mera história? Ha 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 Oh, is that the o eyeball é slice? O de imagens e cenas vagamente conectadas por títulos absurdos, aparentemente sem nenhuma ligação ou contexto. I have sensor mode on, so don't worry. I mean, I don't think it'll show it, but... It's just trying to tell us about the film. It was the first film by Spanish director Luis Brunel and came about as a result of Salvador, Salvador Dali's Three Nights of Dreams. You'll probably be amazed by one of the most memorable scenes in movie history, a blade ripping an eyeball. Hey, hey, I love this part. Ah, okay, great. Great scene. Memorable. That's exactly what I want to fucking see. Though, to be fair, I am aware of it, and most of us are. Well, many of us are, so clearly it has made some kind of impact in the fabric of our um, culture. Oh, God. Oh, I, I freaked out for a second. I freaked out. I was like, oh, God, it's going to happen, isn't it?
Yeah, this is an education thing as much as it is a game on just surrealism. That's that is also a nipple butt thing. Um. Wow, a lot of these surrealist artists um, are are very nippular in their approach to surrealism. Isn't there a Silent Hill monster that is like just legs and boob? Yeah. It does kind of make you wonder if they got influence or inspiration from stuff like this. And probably, I mean, who knows? But, uh... <laughs> does anyone want to eat a bagel on the leg table? Rayman. Rayman confirmed. This is such a 90s game too, like even late 90s, but it's just like for how confusing the environment is. Like if you want to see that stuff, you have to go down a long, empty, giant hallway. <laughs> Seems very, very odd. Is this the Museum of Anything Goes? It reminds me of the Museum of Anything Goes, but this is actually quite a few years after that game came out. I think that was 1993. This is 1999. It is a Brazilian 1999, however. But we're simple math now? System failure? Two and two always makes a fun. I'm being too rational and not surrealist enough, I think. That's... Well, we need to do Brazilian math. Hang on. You got one right? Which one did... Well, obviously... I answered all the same. Wait, how do you know I got it right? Oh, chat. Chat. I answered all of them correctly earlier, and I still failed. Were you not paying attention, chat? You got- oh wait, I have to get them all wrong. Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, okay. I thought chat just didn't, like, collectively didn't watch, and they were like, No, Vin, you got one right! Keep getting them right! <laughs> Well, we don't know if this is going to work either, but it fucking did. It fucking did! Ooh, spooky. Art game says fuck math. <laughs> yeah, pretty much.
Oh. Welcome to your unconscious. I am the guardian of surrealist techniques. How can I help you? What are those lights? Those are portals that will take you on a journey through surrealist techniques. Is that a foot? Oh, this is awesome. This is so fucking weird. Maybe we should rename that segment from getting weird with it to getting surreal with it. Because it makes it sound much much more like uh, falut falutin. Like the falut scale goes up. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. Where's the cigarette? Cigarette. Hey, you. Did you steal my cigarette? Don't lie. Tell me. It was you. You have a cigarette in your mouth. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> My little cigarette. Oh, sweet little cigarette. What well, brings you here? <laughs> Can you help? Uh, you know what? Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> or do I know? Good question, eh? I'm afraid of you. That's normal. Many of those who pass by here say the same thing. People are afraid to face their own madness head on. They prefer to encase it in a dark, hidden tunnel. Loco. Depends on the point of view. Many people think so. Uh, so I think they're all chasing me. They are. They want to catch me, but I hide in the background. Nobody can find me. Why is madness surrealist technique? Madness is admired by the surrealists. The madman has his own world. He is trapped inside his own mind. He's in deeper contact with his own unconscious. It is considered a surrealist technique because the artists believe that madness was one of the ways to reach super reality. Someone called this smegma voice acting? Can you help me reach the super reality? Him on the wall? The shadow? The dark side of the human being. It's attached to me as I am attached to you. Oh, this conversation's getting heavy. don't know if there's actually an end game here. I mean, I've seen that some people have played this on Steam. Like, I saw the reviews in, like, you know, an hour and 20 minutes or so, hour and a half. There is, but it's convoluted. So is it worth just seeing as much stuff as possible and then just moving on, you think? Maybe looking up the ending, like, in a video or something? Will you be the same Vinny after? I'm not the same Vinny now. The greasy food defiles the funny prostitute. The light cave enslaves the torrid secretary. The dismayed monument pleases a cordata beach. 
Bouncy mermaid digests a trivial nun. Oh, it's Mars Volta lyrics. Freaking sweet. Or, yeah, Hylix. I mean, yeah, sure. Sangue delicado. Thank you for the wine. Very kind, you know. What can I do for you? <laughs> Who are you? I'm a delicate corpse. Who else could it be, huh, cutie? <laughs> it's a game invented by the artists of the Surrealist movement. It is expressed in several people writing on a sheet of paper an automatic word without knowing what the others have written. The order is predefined. You can follow Andre Brett. Breton's example. I think me, Kriken, and Critical did this years ago. It's also one of the, the things, um, one of the things that some people do for lyrics as songwriters is they just point to a word in a book and they just like scan a little bit and whatever phrase comes to mind that seems interesting, they will use that as a lyric. So... That's another part of this. I actually, I've, I think I've done that once or twice, but not, not very often. I should do that more. That sounds fun. I should do it in Dune, and then suddenly all my songs are about Shai Halud. Why the name The Delicate Corpse? Wanted. The answer to the first game played by Breton and Pere was the exquisite corpse will drink a new the new wine. Who do you think were in their heads? Huh. Where is the game? There's a secret passage. You are a cat, see? Whenever you want to talk to me, just give me a sip of the new wine and I'll get excited again. Yeah, cock. Very difficult to find. They didn't censor that one. Or that one. The scrungly worm envelops an ephemeral suitcase. Yeah, that's Mars Volta lyrics. Verb. Um. Eats. The, le le <laughs> the legitimate mouse eats the virile female. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh... Sees. It's fine. It's art. Chad, it's art. It's fine. The funny bandit sees the cursed death. I mean, these... 
actually could be verses like in a song. It's an interesting one. Uh, verb again. Births. As a chat suggestion. Why not? Me trying to cover them with the hand is just making it worse. Just let art be art. It's it's sold on Steam. This game is on Steam. A virile soul births the spurious cat. Adjective. Um. The uh, ooh, gormless. Whenever I'm in need of, uh, you know, inspiration, I'll have to come to this room, the statue cock room. A gormless rib digests the golden old woman. Gormless old rib digests the golden old woman. You have to sing it like a Tom Waits song. I mean, I, I listen, I haven't smoked a cigarette in about eight years or so, so I can't quite get there, but I love in the Dracula movie where um, he plays Renfield and his half of his lines are just, Master! Master! One more. Um, adjective. Dastardly. I know why the boss. I watched it again recently, and it, it's a great movie. But man, every time Keanu. I know where the bastard sleeps. Oh. I brought him there to Carfax Abbey. And you can tell. Like, Coppola just had to cast them because, like, he was just, uh, like, the hot new actor at the time. The dastardly instructor scourges a lugubrious hen. And that's something. See, that was fun. But, yeah, the, the Jonathan Harker role was heavily de-emphasized in... Uh, Coppola's Dracula movie. Is the m the cursor moving slower? I saw buttocks. The trivial wonder curses a intoxicating belly. on the moon oh there's a tree oh Oh, that's so fucking weird. Oh, okay. Man, you're better off not even censoring anything if they're just gonna show, like... If, listen, it's just light bulb nipples. Come on. They, they showed statue, uh, penile, so why not, like, light bulb booba? It's fine. Anyway, someone has come along to keep me company. I was anxiously waiting for this moment to come. I've lived here for centuries. No one has been brave enough to come up here. At least, mm, no one alive. All right, who are you? The Dreamkeeper. 
de vindo à minha realidade. Hum, estava tão sozinha, é tão monótono aqui em cima. Finalmente apareceu alguém para me fazer companhia. Hum. Where am I? Aqui é o mundo dos sonhos, o mundo dos símbolos e dos desejos recalcados. World of symbols and repressed desires. Do you mean that you were a repressed desire or a symbol inside my unconscious? Maybe a mixture of the two? Am I asleep? Probably. It's a bit complicated to reach. Uh, what are dreams anyway? Dream? Oh! Finally, we get an answer. Could you imagine if the answer to some questions in life, like some of the deeper questions, were just hidden in bizarre fucking video games from the 90s? Dreams are the signs of hidden processes of the unconscious. They are repressed desires that appear in the form of symbols to be interpreted. There are several theories about dreams. The two best known are Freud's and Jung's. You believe in the collective unconscious that is several people from different places in the world who have never had a contact with each other can have dreams with symbols of identical meaning. And Freud, dreams are signs of hidden mental processes. One can understand dreams in the same way one understands neuroses. That is, by discovering their meaning. The dream is the bridge between the unconscious and the conscious. It is the world of symbols and attempts to re at realizations of repressed desires. Why is dreaming a surrealist technique? Because through the dream that surreality is found, which is nothing more than the union of two sides, the dream and the reality, the conscious and the unconscious, the union of the two poles, the con complementation, the marvelous. All right. Marvelous is the ideal. How do I get to the wonderful one? You have to go through all the stages. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a little bit of like moaning. Just, just a little bit of moaning. It's lonely up there. Yeah, they don't really make games like this anymore, do they? Usually, anything that, like, I play that is involving weird things... ...is, um... ...is just weird for the sake of weird, or maybe someone's interpretation of their dreams. And I love that shit, too. I'm okay with that. Especially, like, a nice, like, walking simulator with strange environments. But I, I do respect this game for trying to educate and appreciate the surreal. And also, you know, try to come up with some, like, deeper meanings for some of the stuff that's actually on screen as opposed to, It's weird! Red Vox comes from your dreams. Some of it. Yeah, it happens. I try to pay attention. Are you stuck? Yeah! That's amazing. I love you, fish. I don't know where to go. Do you have any suggestions? I am not paid to give suggestions. I am paid to transport people. If you don't know where you should go, who am I to make guesses? Where do you want to go? I don't know. It's anywhere is good. Stop being, stop being. 
I, I guess you need a suggestion of where to go. Like, you actually have to find the answer. And then you come back to the fish. You need to progress in the game to have a destination. There it is. I feel like the Star Trek theme is about to start. Um, how do I get out of here, chat, if anyone knows? Because it seems like I'm stuck with the three lights. There are three lights! Turn around? There's no turn around. Have you been to the blue portal? Yeah, I was just there. Stroke the tower for a secret ending? I know you're lying, but I'm gonna just try real quick. I wanna know what the fuck that is. That's like a the the thing from the fucking start of the game. It's like a dead alien fella. Can't get to it. Dreams are interesting, though. I, I am fascinated by them and what they have given me, personally. And, uh... I do enjoy a good dream, but lately I haven't been remembering a ton of them, so I, I think... I need to start a, a dream journal again. Or at the very least, like, open up a notepad. When I was doing melatonin, my dreams were fucking wild. I had a dream journal... I've read most of them on stream over the years, but I did have like a lot of dreams written down and there's the Martin Scorsese stick bug one. There was the one where Co Kurt Cobain was a red skeleton like Castlevania. Uncle Walnut. I don't think that was a dream. Yeah, bone noise. Oh yeah, saw that was that was a dream. It tastes like sawdust, Uncle Walnut. It was like a um, Sopranos dream, and Uncle Walnut was telling Tony that it, the, the gabagool tasted like salt, sawdust. Uh, yeah, I had a dream where the word details meant there was less detail because the end of the word had L-E-S, even though it's not spelled that way. And so if you wanted more detail, there were detailmores. That was a real fucking w dream I had. I don't know, man. What happens if I, if I use this? You know. I'm, listen, I'm just, just in case I'm keeping the censorship on. I'm sorry, chat. Even though we've already seen Kaka. Maybe it gets worse, I don't know. It's not worth risking the Twitch channel. But hey, just in case it's a problem. See, Twitch, I have censorship on. It has been on the whole time. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, anyway, where... I don't know how to get out of this fucking area, chat, at all. I'm, I'm like, stuck in here. Need to click on outside of dream stuff in reality? Go to the other portals. Try to go to the alien in the blue portal. Did I not? I, I... Talk to the glowing eye person. I did. They didn't have any specific suggestions, and I can't get to the alien. Go 
Go to the blue light and get as near as possible to the green alien thing. All right, that seems to be from someone who has played the game. Thank you, chat member who has played the game. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, okay. Yeah, there were just some rocks you had to go down. That is not what I was expecting. I'm sorry, I thought these glasses were ownerless. I was taking a swim, I cleaned- I needed to clean my skin. You should know that I don't like people to go through my things without my consent. But anyway, what do you want? Who are you? I'm the most elegant and beautiful being in this world, and in all others, too. My name is Brizomante Ereguido. I am a being object. What's it like, Brizo? What? It does sound like Hestu from Breath of the Wild. If you want to know what it means, get a dictionary. I'm not going to create wrinkles on my face trying to find out what it means. What is a being object? According to Dali, are strange bodies in space. It is a way to make a character assume different characteristics of an object. A bit confusing. I think so too, but what matters is that I am a being. It is the fruit of a dream. A wonderful dream, by the way. What's special about the glasses? That is an object surrealist. Object Surrealist lends itself to minimal functioning and relies on phantasms that are triggered to the performance of unconscious acts such as dreaming, for example. Well, I would like for you to give me those glasses. Give me my glasses? Just like that? For nothing? I think you're losing your mind. Imagine. Give me my glasses. Look at that. Huh. But are you nearsighted in all three eyes? It's not that, you donkey! I can see very well with any of my three eyes. The trioculars are just an adornment. And with them, I am more charming than I already am, don't you think? I haven't seen him with the glasses yet. Well, don't be. I use some for you to see, but be careful not to be shocked by so much beauty. You can put it on me and see what a dazzle. Some interesting translation stuff going on here. It's true, you look so handsome. You look like a movie artist. Thank you, I already knew that. Well, now I'll take them off so as not to scratch the lenses. Alright, I expect you not to touch the glasses anymore. Do you understand, or I'll be forced to take drastic action? You tire of my beauty. They were abandoned. Um, apparently I have to be rude to this thing. Be sincere. Let's go say it. I want to know if I look good in these glasses. There's no mirror here and the reflection of the water deforms my silhouette. Tell me I look good. I don't know if I should say. Say it! Say it! Say it! I want to know how I look with my glasses. To tell the truth, these glasses overshadow the beauty of the th of her three green eyes. Truth? No, do you swear this is true? Yes, besides, it looks like you got little wrinkles in the corners of your face. Uh, don't tell me that, I can't listen anymore. My delicate complexion, my target skin tone. No, I can't take it. <laughs> One more thing, you look older when you wear them. I can't listen to this anymore. I can't listen to this anymore. I don't want these damn glasses anymore. Take them. Take them for yourself. Do what you want with them. Destroy this monstrosity if possible. <laughs> Star Trek noise again. Now that I'm rid of this nuisance, I can continue my morning bath. I beg you, please don't disturb me anymore, you hear? I want peace and quiet. I hope I won't be bothered again. Have a nice day. Wow, that actually worked. Uh... I have no idea what to do with the glasses.
Three lenses, three portals. Think about it. You need to exhaust dialogue with the bulb lady. Thank you. Surrealist techniques. What are those lights? Purple portal. The world of madness dangerous. Of course it's dangerous. Madness is a double-edged sword. done my best to exhaust. Oh, the bulb lady! Oh, God. Okay, sorry. I don't know who I'm apologizing to. Just a nebulous apology. <laughs> Myself, perhaps. This is the bulb lady. All right. Yeah, we'll get over there. Get up there. Shimmy on up. Come on. Yeah, shimmy. Yeah. yeah. Go. Yeah, shimmy. Yeah. Bulb lady. Now I get to the wonderful one. Surrealist techniques. How do I get to humor? Look for the soluble fish. It will take you to the mood. Is there a trick? The soluble fish. He will know the way. Oh, that is the thing. After you've won the humor challenge, come back and talk to me. I'll have something for you. There's a humor challenge. Boy, I don't know if I can pass the humor challenge, because all I've got, chat, is, um... SPEEDING! <laughs> I also have come to Brazil, come to Brazil, come to Brazil, and we will make you happy. To humor. We go to humor now. I've got Grey Leno. Okay, cool. Thank God for that. I can pass the humor challenge. I just show them, like... At the edge of reality, I have to pass a humor challenge. And they're like, show us your best stuff. Oh. I'm like, all right, well, I got Grey Leno, I got a Watto impression, and I got Spin. I just get sent down to hell immediately. I think that was a banana. Guess we're just gonna walk through the Grand Tetons here. <laughs> Why is there a banana here? I was tired of waiting. Did you like my home? It was a masterpiece imagined solely and exclusively within your mind. Welcome with all ardor and enjoy the world of humor. Are you the guardian of humor? It's it's a banana with fork and plate cherry face and sausage arms. So yes, of course it is. You can call me Mr. Falana. Unlike other cool guys, I love company. I'm certainly not wrong. Among all the Guardians, I am the most human. Why are you the most human? While they represent the unconscious, I actively participate in your reality. I don't know if you feel it, but whenever you laugh so that you have, don't have to cry when a tragedy happens, I'm present. Why are you like this? 
Even though you are a manly adult, I represent the childish part of you. <laughs> I am not here for nothing. I also represent the humor that exists in each person. For each one, I have a different way, and even a very naughty way. But in your case, you didn't imagine me as a person. You ended up making me look like a banana. I would like to reach the super reality. If you want, I will tell you the truth. I can help you get there. Please help me. Don't beg because you're not weed. If you, uh, weak, <laughs> weed, uh, you will annoy me. Okay, it's as simple as playing with fire. For that, you'll have to win a game. I'm ready. Well, get your shimmering spherical target ready because there's a really cutting rain coming. Knives are falling. Don't miss any. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Chat, you may want to look away. No less than 30 stabs to this eye do I have to take. It's fine. It's... Barely anything. Let's... Okay, let's analyze what's happening right now. A banana told me to play this game. The banana who is situated near the genital area of a floating naked space woman. As I have an eyeball become pierced by knives 30 times. Yeah, it's Sunday stream, all right. Just wanted to make sure. Was I funny? No. That's it. Stay calm and try. Don't leave it for later. Now the difficulty increases. What about this is related to humor and funny? How about that music, though? I mean, it is absurd. Cannot deny the absurdity of the situation. Uh... Now blood you will cry? Into the difficult phase three? Know that the game is hot, you'll be on fire to get 50 right. Oh, now it's just cleavers. Point and click games had some really wild mini games. Almost, chat. Almost. It's necessary. Great. You have triumphed. Your skill was enough to pierce the eye of society. <laughs> it seems that you are closer to the super reality. Whenever you want to play again, I'll be here to welcome you. For now, I'll give you the gift with all my love. You now have the humor. That's, that's the humor right there. That's the fecal funny. Whenever you talk to me, you will always have a lot of fun. Oh yes, yeah, censor that nipple, sure. Yeah. Put a little bit of pepperoni on that thing. Pepperoni nipples. Boy, I so do enjoy selective censoring. You know, it's all right to enjoy little pepperoni nipples once in a while, chat. Don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
Gotta go to Italy for that, though. No, again, this is a real game. It came out 24 years ago. This is not a mod. This is not some fan game. This is art, and it's not uh, for the sake of arousal. <laughs> Even though it sounds like she was a little aroused, it's fine. Uh... The greasy food defiles the funny prostitute. That's it! You accomplished auto-writing very well. By the way, I thought this sentence was very good. Let's go to the next one. You must make me laugh. I want something that makes me laugh. Select something in the inventory. <laughs> Hilarious. Laughter is the best weapon against hypocrisy. <laughs> I see that. You've won the challenge of humor. Now I want the password to a game where the collective unconscious can emerge. Ah. Uh. I have to go back to the madness area, I think. I mean, at least... I have some semblance of what to do. What must I do? Please! Light bulb, pepperoni, nipple lady, please, what must I do? Are you laughing? The shadow. Living in that routine life. Eat, work, sleep, eat, work, sleep. Once in a while, go out and meet the other insane people like you. Oh my god, we, we are getting a full rant from this guy. Sex and violence on TV have become weapons to control the masses. How can this be reversed? The human being must free himself from this world that he built, but at the same time destroyed him. Good was the time when the human being only killed to feed himself. Pick fruit from the trees, fished. How I miss the primitive world. You would rather live in a world of illusion? Yeah, this is actually Return to Monkey. In the end, you didn't answer me. How do I get to the super reality? I'll only tell you if you set me free. You must set me free. I need freedom. He repeats himself a lot. What will I gain from setting you free? You will reach the super reality. Do you accept? I mean... Yeah, I set you free. At last, I've been here for years. I was looking forward to this moment. Uh, by the way, for a paranoid person, don't you change your personality very quickly? Where are the laughs? They're still with me. Okay. I feel like this one was undercooked compared to the other ones. There's at least some, like... Mini games or something. This guy, you just have to talk to him. And he says some, you know, bizarre shit. And then he leaves. Just laughs a lot. And does his urethra voice acting. And threw a fucking $3 Logitech microphone from 1999. Probably even earlier than that. Oh, sorry. It was Smegma voice acting. I thought it was actually kind of funnier, like, picturing a urethra doing the, the, the voice lines there. 
I laughed so hard, as you can tell. Um, uh-oh. Chat member, what have I done wrong? Chat member... Keep talking to her, I'm close. That's not the chat member, that's a different chat member. Who... Where was the chat member that was helping me? Something in the corpse? Something in the corpse. Uh, what do you mean, something in the corpse? The yellow portal, not that one. You're talking about, oh, the fellow. The, the feller. Like an oblivion character. Why is that collab or Martha? First time I've received such a nice compliment. Oh my love, I'm thrilled. Here, take this note card. Oh. Well that was easy. It stays in your inventory. So that, that stays in your inventory, but use it in the machine nearby. Yeah. The bastard space demanded the red girlfriend. Melancholy food digests a lugubrious pain. Small boss threatened a fat appendix. Seems like something worked here. Are people enjoying this? I mean, I know there's always going to be some answers that are like no, but in general, like, are. Seems like oh, most people are at least enjoying it a little bit. It is getting a little old. I can't deny that as well, chat member. But I'm I'm. I mean, when there were new things to see, a lot that was when it was a little bit better. But I think I performed the technique, so maybe we got some new stuff here. Oh, I have to... Wait, wait, wait. Try the three naked dudes with the note you got? What do you mean, three naked dudes? Okay, so... <laughs> Is 
the automatic. I thought the automatic writing circle was the um, the thing, the phrase. But apparently, it was the machine. So the machine is different. That was a completely different thing. Okay. All right. Um, apparently, there are three endings. Um... Apologize. Apologies, LOL. Can you blame me? Cock guy room. A slutty duck witnessed a stinky detritus. <laughs> well, this, this immediately takes us back to Sleuth versus Scoot. I don't know if that actually worked. Gives David Bowie and his Earthlings era vibes, and I'm here for it, says a chat member. Yeah. Well, there's that fucking Omicron game. I set the madman free. I no, I don't I don't want to play Omicron. I've seen I, pl I played a little bit of it i think and i saw more of it and it just does not look like something i ever want to dig into ever again but um yeah there's there's just a specific kind of thing that these games from the 90s have like these point and clicks have that I, you i don't think have ever really been replicated and it's also part of just trying to figure out the medium I've talked about it plenty, but, like, having the real actors in, like, little green screen scenarios in the games just adds, like, a whole other level to how weird some of these games are, and I love it. Okay. A slutty duck witnessed a stinky detritus. There it is. They didn't translate this line. Uh... Exactly what I needed, a real surrealist object, hmm. Why would I need glasses with three lenses? Doesn't matter. What matters is that you're very close to the marvelous. Only one more question remains. I see by that look in your eyes you're ready for the final question, the question that will open the way to the wonderful, but beware, the question is definitive and perhaps the most important one on your journey. Depending on your answer, the adventure may end abruptly without reaching the desired macrochasm. Um, chasm, rather. <laughs> do you want me to ask you the question now, or do you prefer to ask it later? I'm ready. What is the reality? Uh, does a straw have one or two holes? That's the question. What is the reality? I mean, I'm gonna say the super reality for it is unconscious plus the conscious. I don't know. Let's go for that one. You got it right. You finally accomplished all your tasks towards the wonderful. Both realities are equally real. This world of the unconscious, my world, is as real as yours because it is inside the mind, inside the human soul, which, according to the philosophers of surrealism, is the most perfect way to find the super-reality. 
One world cannot live without the other. Hence the term surreality, or dream plus reality. To reach the macrocosm, it is enough to balance and harmonize mind and reality. It seems that you've succeeded. Congratulations. Look for the soluble fish again and tell him that now he can take you to the wonderful. <clears throat> well, there, weirdly, uh, someone said buy a Supra. There is a, a guitar that Bowie liked to use called a Supro. So that, that's another little connection there. I have one. I love it. Someone said cult indoctrination finished. <laughs> Let's go to the wonderful. It looks like you made it, huh? Super Mario Wonder. Less than a week from now. That's where we're going. And that game is plenty surreal. We're going to the Wowie Zowie. And then, for the break, I believe I'm playing a song from the album Wowie Zowie. Wow. Wowie Zowie. This is the wonderful, huh? <laughs> I don't want to scare her. She's here behind me, keeping me company. Who? Don't tell me you're talking to your shadow again. Yes, she's a great friend of mine. She's not attached to me at all. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Uh, I would like to know what to do here. Can you help? You want it all handed to you, don't you? You can't imagine the trouble I went through to reach this place. And when I got here, there was a bunch of stuff scattered on the floor. A hard time collecting it all. I need something to be able to go on my way. For setting me free, I'll give you a present. Thank you, you really are a great friend. Do we have to, like, saw the thing that looks kind of like... Yeah, we do. Teletubby shit. Directed by Stanley Kubrick. Nice pitch shifter guitar pedal. Okay. That was certainly an ending. Yeah. There were a lot of things here I liked. And I think you could probably complete this in like a half hour if you know what you're doing. Less. Um, apparently there's a couple other endings. What are the other endings? Like, are they worth anything? There's also some bonus content, and then there's a mini game. Looks like there are some stuff being posted. But yeah, um... I mean, I, I get what they were trying to do. Wow, there's <laughs> that Luis Enrique. Enrique is a very talented voice actor and musician. 
Damn. I thought the game was interesting. And... There was some stuff that really didn't pay off for me, but I get what it was going for. And I appreciate how strange it was. Uh, surreal, obviously unique. Um, I guess there's a part of me that was hoping for a more elaborate ending, but still I enjoyed it for what it was. And it's always nice to play So that's how you say that. You've unlocked remix mode. Discover an amazing journey with lots of new content. You can try to reach another destination, not as glorious, but just as interesting. You are feeling equal to God. You are now your own God. <laughs> uh, thanks, Scuttlebug. Wow. Okay, there's a making of. Wow. Estamos aqui presenciando o Breton em pessoa. O linear. É o linear bretônico. E aqui presenciamos toda a criação bretônica. The dev videos are also on YouTube. E a cria líder do movimento bretonista. Essa breton, a bretônica morre. Essa bretônica mais saída. A bretônica master. It's yeah, I mean the surreal part for me is seeing like this video is like, nearly 25 years old. It's like, oh my god, time fucking flies. Genial, but uh, yeah, yeah, that was still still the '90s for a brief time there. Someone said they're in their 70s now? What the fuck are you on? <laughs> no. These, they look like they're in their 20s here. Well, they're wobbly. I like that the making of video is just them sitting on a couch. Speed. They're discussing surreal literature and art that inspire the writing. That's fair. <laughs> Spin in Portuguese is... Is it y Giro? Dog. All right, chat. I think that'll be good. Um, I don't feel particularly like I need to see the rest of the endings. But 
apparently they're not anything more extensive than what we saw. So if you would like to, you can you can check it out. Um, and then there is the remix version. So, you know, I feel like I got the most I wanted to out of that game. I'm sure there's still a couple extra things. Again, I'm I'm a big fan of just like games that took a risk and did something truly like strange. And uh that game did that. And I learned a little bit, I guess, and I also I didn't feel like it was it didn't overstay its welcome. I mean, the game was pretty short. So yeah, I I liked it overall. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's fucking bizarre, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? All right, stick around, chat. Gmod will be up next. Apparently, the game wasn't even sold in the past. It was bundled with magazines at the time. Okay. Well, that actually kind of explains a little bit. So. It was um it was sold in the future. It is yeah, it is in the, in fact sold in the future and um Bulbzorn magazines. <laughs> All right, we'll take up a quick break. And uh chat, I will be back with Gary's mod <laughs> Halloween maps. So hopefully we'll have fun with that. It's it's a thing I like to do every year. And then if we have time and we may have time, I have a number of interesting horror games. I've got Halloween and horror games, like October spoop games for the whole month. So I'll just keep digging into that folder. But for now, let's take a quick break. I just need to find, uh, yeah, we'll use this. <laughs> 